Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel and today the topic which we are going to discuss is India as a mega diversity nation. We all know that India ranks 7th in terms of area in the whole world. It's the 7th largest country which covers an area about 3.28 million square kilometer. So keeping in view the vastness of our country as well as the varied environmental condition and the varied climatic condition which are present in India, okay, one has to recognize India as a mega diversity nation. There are 17 mega diverse countries in the world which accounts 60 to 70 percent of world's biodiversity and India is one of the 17 countries. Not just in words, India is considered as a mega diverse country, but in reality also, the diversity in India is profound. Around 45,000 species of plants are estimated to found in India, and 65,000 species of animals are estimated to found in India. So around uh, 15,000 flowering plants are also present in India. So around 65,000 species of plants which are uh, animals which are found in India. 50,000 are of insects, 4,000 are of molasses and 6,500 are of uh, invertebrates, 2,546 are feces, 1,497 are amphibians. 408 are reptiles and 1224 are birds and 350 are of mammals. So it's not just in words but in reality also, in the ground reality also, India is uh, blessed with various species of plants and various species of animals. So it is rightfully can be called as a mega diversity nation. This table shows us the biological richness of India and a comparison of number of species uh, which are found in the world also. So I uh, suggest to people to take a pause in the video and uh, go through this table once. Endemic species of India. Now endemic species refer to those species of plants and animals which are found only in one single geographic area and it is not found anywhere else in the world. So those kinds of unique species are also present in India. So around 33% of plants uh, in India which is found uh, is said to be endemic to India. Andaman and Nicobar group of islands have at least 220 species of endemic flora. Uh, 15,000 species of flowering plants are also there in India out of which 5,000 to 7,000 species are endemic to India. Uh, but many areas like uh, Agastamala Hills, Silent Valley, uh, New Ambra Balam Reserve, Perrier National Park, okay. Now those are the areas which needs, uh, which has been identified now as an important area of the conservation action also. Like the plant species, India is not so fortunate with respect to the endemic animals. Uh, among the mammals and birds, it's particularly very low in India. Around 44 species of mammals are endemic, out of which 4 endemic species need serious conservation significance also, like uh, namely lion tail macaque, nilgiri leaf monkey or nilgiri langur, brown palm kibet and nilgiri tar. Now if those animals are not conserved properly, then in the near future, they might get extinct also. Only 55 species of birds are endemic to India. They are mainly found in the areas of high rainfall and concentrated mainly in the eastern part of the country along the mountain region, the Western Ghats and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. However, India is rich in the endemic reptiles and amphibians. India has about 
187 endemic reptiles and 110 endemic amphibian species. Around 8 species of amphibians are exclusive to India. It is not found anywhere else in the world. The vastness and richness of Indian biodiversity is primarily due to the regional variation in physical condition such as uh, relief and climate. So accordingly, uh, following biodiversity regions are recognized in India. The Himalayan region, the peninsular Indian region, tropical rainforest region, consisting of the areas from the Western Ghats and the Malabar coast. Away from the Indian mainland, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands also has the uh, same kind of climatic conditions. And the desert region, the Sundarbans area, and lastly, the northeastern region. With this, we come to the end of the video, students. Thank you for watching the video.